All right, guys. Well, we just finished releasing the Scarlet Kings, and as we were walking back towards uh, the Jeep, we found uh, this pretty awesome snake. I've been looking forward to seeing one for a while. I've seen a couple, and but they're usually babies, and they're usually dead. And uh, uh, I just can't really explain how excited I am to see it. If you don't know what this is right now, it's pretty obvious that it's nothing normal. This is the Eastern Hognose, or Heterodon platyrhinos. Alright guys, well, um, the eastern hognose is a, uh, a, a pretty prolific feeder of toads. They mainly eat uh, southern toads and uh, s uh, spadefoot toads and whatnot. And uh, there's actually another species of uh, uh, hognose in North Carolina. It's called the southern hognose or heterodon simus. And, but uh, they're not doing very well in North Carolina. They're uh, declining throughout most of the range. As you see, he's still playing dead, looking dead as can be. But, uh, Eventually, as they, uh, um, as the pr as time goes by, they'll start rolling back over and act normal again. And uh, what's distinctive of the eastern hognose is that the belly is usually dark towards the the base, and then as it gets the tail, it turns light again, as you see, like a sandy color. And uh, what's weird is that most easterns in North Carolina are uh, jet black, like completely melanistic. So it's kind of cool to be able to see a. Uh, a uh, pretty one like this and he's just playing dead I can't really get him not to play dead now uh, the eastern hognose is found uh, all the way out into Kansas and uh, I think I don't know about Colorado but I know they're found out in Kansas and they're found all the way up into Canada and all the way down into Florida so they're a pretty far-ranging species of snake um, they're really variable in their habitats. They really don't have a specific habitat like the southern hognose. They, uh, they can be found in swamps, they can be found in pine savannas, uh, maritime forests. There's pretty much really no specific habitat. But uh, yeah, these guys do mainly eat toads and they can eat lizards, reptile eggs, whatnot. And what's unique is that they actually have fangs in the back of their mouth which gives them rear fanged, uh, a, a name called rear fang. And um, they use those teeth to actually pop toads when they when they inflate to eat them. They actually eat the toads um, or pop them. So uh, it's pretty cool. Um, they're really interesting snake species. You see how his tail's all curled up? Yeah, we're probably gonna let him go here soon. That is a dead snake. I think we just killed him. You see the tongue, tongue lolling? That's what's unique about heterodon genus is that they all play dead. But eastern hognoses are probably the best at playing dead. And you know what's cool? Is if you flip them over, they roll right back over. Isn't that awesome? Flip them over, right back over. Look at that mouth. And this is, uh, you know, just to... Uh, deter predators from eating them. I mean, because, I mean, who would want, what would want to eat a dead animal besides maybe a king snake or a cottonmouth? But that's just such an awesome threat display. Only a few snake species are capable of doing this. Um, I think coachups do this a little bit, too. They don't, like, law or, like, tongue, or, like, throw their tongue out and stuff and roll over. But uh, it's pretty obvious that he's alive, he's breathing, he flips over, his tongue is coming, going out like crazy. So that's where they get the, the play dead part from. This whole container. I can't give it to you, man. Um, where'd you find these at? What? Oh, in a pond near my house. Oh. Uh, yeah. not say, what the fuck? I like down maybe. Look, the tree snake. He can eat it, man.
to the picture there, look at that. It's like, right in his face. Yeah. Tell that as a background.